trains. Hello, now I'm going to tell you about a train journey in Britain. Let the train take the strain, said the advertisement. Good idea, thought Liam. Why take the car, spend hours in a traffic jam on the motorway and more time looking for a place to park when I finally arrive in London? So last Wednesday, Liam decided to go to London by train for the day. First of all, he looked at the timetable and saw there was a train leaving at 9.05. It was due in at Paddington station at 10.32. He arrived at the station in time and went to the booking office to buy his ticket. He bought a cheap day return on an intercity train. He looked at the indicator and saw that his train left from platform 3. It was about to leave so he ran through the barrier showing his ticket to the collector and jumped onto the train just as the doors were closing. As the train moved off he walked down the carriage and found a seat in a non-smoking compartment. There was an elderly lady there who asked him to help her put her cases onto the luggage rack. Then he sat down in a window seat and began looking at his newspaper. After looking at his paper for half an hour, Liam decided to go along the train to the buffet car and have a cup of coffee. He was still sitting there when the train pulled into the next station. To his surprise, he saw Jeremy, an old friend of his, getting on the train. He waved to him and walked along the carriage to greet him. They used to go to school together, but they hadn't seen each other for many years. They talked about old times and very soon the train drew in to Paddington. They said goodbye to each other as they got off the train, promising to keep in touch. Then Liam went to look for the underground station so he could go by tube to his destination. Thinking that going by train had other advantages as well as lack of strain. Bye, that's all for now.